the news around the fate, the doomed fate, as we now know, of the Dead Space series, um, and the slightly bizarre and slightly confusing way in which we found out about said fate. Um, so for anyone that missed it, last week, EA confirmed that Motive, who are the studio that worked on the Dead Space remake early on last year and then Star Wars Squadrons um, prior to that, would be joining the wider Battlefield development team, which is, I think when you're talking about kind of like unique or interesting or otherwise sort of like uh, notable studios within the EA sphere, hearing them, them that they've been uh, welcomed into the wider Battlefield team um, is kind of like a nightmare for many people. Um, and so um, almost immediately, there was a bit of an, uh, an investigation into what exactly that meant. Um, and it is exactly what it sounds like. They will broadly be helping with Battlefield development in the future. But they have confirmed that their Iron Man project would continue to move forward. Um, however, Jonesy, you may have noticed that that left or left um, a big question mark around the future of Dead Space. Because, I, again, I, were you in the camp of people that just kind of assumed following last year's remake that there would be something else Dead, Dead Space re related down the line, either a Dead Space 2 remake or a Dead Space 4 or something? Oh, 100%. Like, I think it was a for uh, For me, I thought it was a foregone conclusion. Like, after how well Dead Space 1 remake was received, the critical acclaim, um, how seemingly yep. uh, everyone was was um, really excited about it, everyone was picking it up. I was like, well, obviously. I mean, we started, I think we even talked about it a couple of times in the same sort of ways that we would talk about Resi 2 getting remade or something like that. Like, it was obvious it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time. Yeah, especially when you consider that sometimes these remakes and remasters are themselves a litmus test for the just the continued Asian of a franchise. You know, you don't yeah. do, EA don't do something like that unless they're interested in hopefully picking that back up and seeing where the future takes it. The future, as it happens, though, uh, is taking it nowhere. And Jeff Grubb was the first man to kind of step in and fill the void on the news, claiming that plans for a Dead Space 2 remake had been shelved. Uh, the exact quotes were... They were working on Dead Space 2, and they are no longer working on it. It's on the shelf because the first game had lackluster sales, is how it was phrased to me. Now, this then spawned a lot of um, widespread disappointment, I guess, would you say, Josie, over Twitter, news I mean, sites? Complete surprise, I think, is the first thing that would right, have yeah. struck most people, because like lackluster sales, as far as... As far as I had assumed, and I think a lot of other people would have done, I think we all thought it had done really well. Um, and like we said it was it was very well received by critics um so the idea that it hadn't done well especially with the landscape as it is um and how uh you know remaking old games seems to be the go-to because it hey they just perform and that's what companies are doing at the moment to sort of like fill holes in budgets and things like that yeah it, it was very surprising um and then and then for them to be like oh it's being shelved because of lackluster sales yeah like baffling yes yes absolutely um because it just yeah, it, it's kind of seemed like a not a, not a not not a no brainer or a slam dunk. I wouldn't go that far, but it just seemed like a bit of a given. It seemed like something an, an inevitability given enough time. Um, uh, but you, and you know. Just to expand on that a little bit, it almost I think we'd even spoken about it before on the pod, and we've even, we've even talked about how this was a chance for them to redo Dead Space Three and get it right. Right. So yeah. and it was like yeah. two had to be a foregone conclusion because how are they going to get to three to fix it and to remake it better in how it should have been made in the first place without going through two? And it was almost like I hadn't even considered that they wouldn't. I suppose. Yeah. Although, oh well, yes, uh, we it it was ultimately confirmed to be the case, and uh, but EA uh, did actually end up muddying the waters a little bit. Um, by seemingly responding to uh, Jeff Grubb's claims, not directly, they didn't name him, uh, they, but uh, a, a spokesperson for EA did reach out to IGN, because of course, as we mentioned, uh, Grubb's sort of comments on a cancelled Dead Space 2 remake or a shelved Dead Space 2 remake kind of, you know, set the inside on fire a little bit for a little while. EA said, we don't normally comment on rumours, but there is no validity to this story. Um, which, a bit of a broad statement, a bit of a sweeping, maybe one might say, um, and that inspired Jeff Grubb to respond to the publisher's comment, saying, um, I give you my permission to believe EA if you want, but whenever a company says, quote, that isn't true, but um, but they don't specify which part of the story they're, they're talking about, well, yeah. Essentially implying that EA's statement was, 
Um, there's no validity to this story, but rather than going in and saying or, or expanding on what they thought or expanding on which parts were, you know, deeply untrue, Jeff Grubb basically implying, like, yes, they can issue a sweeping statement, but there were parts of my story that are true and they're not specifically denying. Um, he went on to say, Dead Space 2 was definitely being planned. It had a code name and they aren't making it now. Uh, this was then followed up by Jason Schreier, who was clearly intrigued by everything that was going on, um, and the kind of slightly unusual um, back and forth between Grubb and in EA, even in an indirect kind of manner, and decided to kind of get his gloves on and do some of his own research. Um, and he uh, reported an article via Bloomberg um, and, and also did a number of tweets to kind of shed some light on the story. Um, uh, he said... After its Dead Space remake released last January to critical acclaim, EA Studio Motive spent a few months exploring ideas for a new series entry. That's according to, according to Bloomberg sources. It's claimed the studio was particularly keen to make a brand new game rather than a remake of Dead Space 2, although both ideas had been on the table. However, the project was never given the green light and was reportedly shelved as early as last spring following disappointing sales of the remake. He further explained that the codename in question would have applied to whichever project the team had had pursued, hence the confusion. So in that respect, it was kind of one of these weird middle grounds where no one was right and no one was wrong, Jonesy. Like Jeff Grubb was right that they were discussing it. They are now no longer discussing it and it did have a code name. But EA were right in that they never greenlit a Dead Space 2 remake and that the code name itself didn't actually refer to a Dead Space 2 remake. And also Jason Schreier, well, he was more of a mediator than a, you know, in a position to be right or wrong. But it's just another reminder of when it comes to the world of leaks and rumors and insider information, sometimes the kind of the, inf the information as it is within a studio itself is so like mangled and passes through so many sets of hands and so many layers of kind of word of mouth that it's no wonder that by the time it's being chatted about on podcasts or on social media, that it's all a bit of a mess. I I think you're being a little bit more charitable than I would be to Jeff Grubb. Um okay. Only because and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say that he was like wrong. I'm not trying to say he was wrong, you know, like um and EA were right. What I'm I suppose what I'm trying to say is by saying I think the words he used like by saying that they were working on a dead space too. I think if the layperson hears that that means like if i hear that as far as i'm concerned that means like level design character development you've got technical people doing technical jobs on a video game um and right. then to say and they're no longer working on it is then there's someone up from up high saying stop working on it like you you code us stop coding dead space 2 um and then for them to say it was shelved because of lackluster performance i did that seems like a more a final thing like they had a product that was starting to be worked on they shelved it so they maybe went they went through their planning phases they went through all that sort of stuff they decided what they were going to do they then started making it i think that the, the reason that i'm saying i'm i'm being i think you're being a little bit charitable to jeff grubb is because if all they'd had is a couple of months of discussions yeah that could that could have been three meetings over two months whereby they said hey yeah we're we going to make this game and they're like yeah we're going to make this game and then after and then they they had the third meeting they looked at the sales figures for the first one and they went actually should we not like and so maybe clumsy language on his part but but i, I i'm with yeah. you it's kind of somewhere in the middle like i think ea were being a little bit disingenuous to be like this is complete because th then they said there's no validity but there was some validity so right yeah they were they were almost capitalizing on the fact that like, as you <laughs> said like jeff grubb's wording could have been better it yeah. could have been more accurate and you, you're absolutely right that is one thing that changed between jeff grubb's two statements he started by saying they were working on dead space 2 and later on he went on to say dead space 2 was being planned um those are two very very different things and as you very rightly pointed out when it comes to timescales and you know just the differences in terms of a number of personnel involved in planning something versus doing something especially when it comes to the creation of a video game i think there's maybe even another conversation here. i don't know if i'm just looking out of get looking for get out of jail free cards for jeff grubb i think there's another conversation to be here here, here to be had about the fact that the first set of quotes from him were pulled from the middle of a conversation with someone else on a podcast right and the other set of quotes from him were statements that he wrote and put out on twitter um one thing I think that I, I almost feel sorry for the Jeff Grubbs and Jason Shryers of the world, and there are other people. In fact, 
Tom Henderson recently responded to a fan on social media, asked why he doesn't do a podcast, and he alluded to this being the reason, is because once you become one of these people, you can't even sit down with a friend and speculate anymore. Right. Because you have vultures <laughs> circling everything you say, looking for scoops, because they know that you know stuff. Oh, that, that's such a good point. Like, no, and I do think it makes a difference that he said the, fir the first statements are from a podcast, because like as we're doing right now like you know the amount of rubbish that i talk on a podcast if anyone took so sort of what i said and tried to say you said this do you stand by your statements i'd be like no of course i don't stand by my statements right 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 um i, I think I'm, I'm, i do think he gets sorry, yes. a, some leeway uh from that I, I but i suppose but him he knows but then at the same time he does know that people are going to listen to what he says and take it so maybe he needs to be a little bit more careful about how he phrases things like he he's not tech i think he could say technically he wasn't wrong he could say in some ways they were working on it but i i do think it may yeah, like i said the language is just a little bit sloppy maybe um but and also, yeah. I th if anything, actually, I think where we're at with with um, a Dead Space Two game is maybe a little bit more hopeful than where we were after the shelving of the work been done. Because if you've done work and you shelved it, that seems worse than if you've said, "Is it time for the remake for part for Dead Space Two? And people go, "No, let's shelve that," because that to me suggests that hey, next year, the year after, they might get it back off the shelf and actually, do like. They've, they've got a few ideas going and they've actually not done any work yet like i think that's almost more hopeful than if they'd started to do actual Maybe. work the thing i think that's damning though for dead space's future uh, again assuming that the the, the uh, observations made by now jeff grubb and uh corroborated by jason trier about disappointing sales um are accurate and disappointing yeah. sales is always such a weird way of looking at it because disappointment sound means that it's relative to a target how lofty was that target and so on and so forth but i think the thing that would concern me is that when other games have gone down this route or when other series have gone down this route even other even other series in the same genre if you will like resident evil is another set of third person survival horror uh shooter games um that there was never any question marks over about whether or not those games were successful. They were released, right. they blew people's socks off, they sold very well, Capcom were very open about the fact they sold well, and they continued to rinse them for everything, every penny that they could in terms of continuing to remake old games to the point where they are now, post-4, very much in the territory of remaking games that at one point or other people claimed did not need to be remade. Uh, there are also reports around this that even... Uh, if you remember it, most people probably don't. The Callisto Protocol, um, that weird again third-person survival horror, survival horror game um, with Josh Duhamel um, uh, in, in in the lead role. Do you remember it? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, just really weird. Is we just had your, someone. Your, in the, your, uh... your face didn't move at all, so I couldn't. Oh, I was. There was a really weird moment where someone in the comments said was talking about the Callisto Protocol, and then you brought up the Callisto Protocol, and oh. I was like, oh, this is, and I was like, hold on. Is this have I had some weird time warp where they've heard what Jamie said before I had? But no, it was just a yeah. coincidence. Great minds think alike. No, no, um, I, I do. Yeah, I remember the Callisto Protocol. Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah, so yeah. the Callisto Protocol. I believe again, according to Dead Space's Wikipedia page, uh, the Callisto Protocol so, was sold better than Dead Space. And see, now okay. you're in a position where with EA, where you're like, okay, we waited a while, we brought it back. People were excited. We did it right. We got rave reviews. Again, Dead Space, um, an 89 on Metacritic, and it didn't sell well. I don't think that's it's that surprising. To me, that's, but that's to me. When, if, again, when you nail the game and it doesn't sell, it's only indicative of one thing, which is that the series doesn't have an audience. I See, I don't. when when you lay it all out, I'm like, I don't actually think it's that surprising. Like, so it, on the face of it, I think it's surprising. But then when I actually look back, I'm like, okay, I didn't buy the dead space remake and why didn't i get it and i was like because that game was a phenomenal looking game it was it was fantastic and there wasn't like this gulf between where it was in my mind anyway there wasn't this gulf between what it was when it came out and what it will be now um versus when you're talking about like resi one and then resi one remake like that is chalk and cheese as far as i'm concerned like they were they're so different and you've almost taken um you know, it's like taking something really old from a from a bygone era and and making it new. Whereas I'm like, well, all they're going to do with the with um, Dead Space is, is 
new textures and new models and it's going to look more pretty and it's going to sound a bit better like but they're not going to it's not going to be a night and day difference um so i think the audience is going to be smaller uh in that end i I am surprised because i thought like the time i thought i would be one of the strange people that didn't pick it up like i just assumed everyone who liked dead space one would even if that is the case though aren't you just further confirming that like a dead space 2 remake would be a bad idea yeah maybe maybe yeah that that, which is i suppose why to my mind it's like as long as you get but from one to three then you then it's a home run because you can fix three and you get and then you get the the series back and then you can have a four Maybe, so I, maybe, but maybe my mind is making these like ridiculous leaps that it shouldn't be making. I, 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 so. I think I, I think that if if the vision is for four, then I think you should just go for four. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, you should. Think okay. You've that, said that. I'm like, yeah, of course you should. Like, like that's so. That that, I don't think there are that many people out there thinking. You know what? I really need to play a new and improved Dead Space Three before I can <laughs> allow myself to buy Dead Space. 3. Especially because the things with Dead Space Three were well, one, it wasn't that bad. It's just a game that people like to remember as a low point for the series because it took a slightly different direction. It took you know, it took a more action oriented direction yeah. than people, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. No, not you know, at all. Um, again, it worked in large parts for you know various points in the Resident Evil series. Depending on again, dif- differing opinions out there. But as soon as you get beyond four, and I, I appreciate that, but like Dead Space Three also just had a bunch of other things that didn't like work particularly well for it from. Um, the inclu- inclu- inclusion of microtransactions and all these kind—it of, just became a poster boy for EA learning the wrong lessons from what were otherwise, you know, good ideas and and, and strong franchises. Um, but it was fine. But what was the what was the Metacritic on Dead Space Three? Do you have a guess? Uh, sixty-eight. Dead Space Three's Metacritic on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, which is the platform it had the most uh, reviews on, was seventy-eight. Oh, okay. oh, blimey, okay, 10, 10 points more than I said. But I, I think you're right, if, if they'd have maybe gone... I think the problem was they assumed, like I would have done as well, if I if I, if I was at EA, yeah, I would assume it. If they said, hey, would a remake of Dead Space 1 do well? I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea, yeah. do it. Um, but actually, if they'd have just ignored remakes and just gone straight for 4, I, I, I genu- genuinely, genuinely sorry, think people would have been like hooping and hollering um, at whatever show that was revealed at. I think I th- I'd like to think so too, and I think there's still room for it in that sense that I think you could still wait a couple of years for. Uh, and don't get me wrong, the news about what Blade Motors future this past week kind of cool things a little bit, but I still think that if you wait long enough, like I don't know why I imagine it in the same realm as I imagine uh, Splinter uh, Splinter Cell, but I think it's because the the night vision goggles have the same <laughs> three prongs as the uh, the the lasers that from right. the kind of the the, the plasma cutter. Um, but I, yeah, I still think there's a future where Dead Space comes back in a big way, and 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 you're right, people are ready for it. I just don't think it's a near future thing now. Um, I, I think it, it's, it, you're absolutely right. Like it, it, it makes itself like you know the reveal trailer would would be black, would be you know we start on black, and then you just see this green uh, like fade in. I think it was green, wasn't it, on his back? And then it would just fade in, and then then the, the camera would pan up, and there'd be another green, another green, another green, and then it would light up to the back of his head, and then he'd just turn his head sideways, with, and the mask would come down, and he'd just say something like, uh, something no, cool. And the, mask, the, mask, no, he, the mask would light up a wall, the wall in front of him, and the camera would pan around so he could see what was on the wall that he was looking at, and it was blood smeared all over the wall that just says, cut off their limbs. <laughs> yeah something like that and everyone would and, go and, 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 and then you then you hear a noise and like something rumbling through an air vent and the lights in his back go now nah, I, I don't i don't want that black. i don't want any of the horror yet and, it, and, it, and, it, and then <laughs> i'm not it, ready it, it, and then it fades up from black the dead space the dead the dead spec of course it does it's not dead space 4 it's the dead space <laughs> you're absolutely right yeah uh, it is the dead space 